What do you think of when you think of the Netherlands? Windmills and bicycles. My name is Arun and welcome to the Bergeshian Family Traveler. Today we are in Kinderdijk. Kinderdijk is a place with 19 windmills. Today we'll visit them, have a picnic and have fun. We'll take a boat ride and enjoy the sun. Of course, you need wind when visiting windmills. Kinderdijk is a village in the municipality of Molen, London, in the province of South Holland, Netherlands. It is located about 15 kilometers or 9 miles east of Rotterdam. We took a tram from Rotterdam Central to connect to a bus to reach Kinderdijk. The total journey took about one hour. The windmills of Kinderdijk are one of the best known Dutch tourist sites. They have been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1997. People coming by car can park at the park and ride and take a shuttle to get to Kinderdijk. The site welcomes you with a visitor information center, a cafeteria, and a Stroopwafel shop. We first decided to have lunch and enjoy the views. Kinderdijk is situated in the Alblasserwaard polder at the confluence of the Lake and Nord rivers. To drain the polder, a system of 19 windmills was built around 1740. Basically, the purpose of the windmills was to pump water. We now walk into the new pump house to learn how windmills were used to pump water using a game. In the Albla Servade, problems with water became more and more apparent in the 13th century. Large canals were dug to get rid of excess water in the polders. However, the drained soil continued to subside while the level of river rose due to the river's sand deposits. After a few centuries, an additional way to keep the polders dry was required. It was decided to build a series of windmills with a limited capacity to bridge water level differences, but just able to pump water into a reservoir at an intermediate level between the soil in the polder and the river. There are electrical and diesel pumps, but the old windmills are still in operation. Join me as we take a boat ride. The name Kinderdijk has a very interesting origin. Let me tell you the story. The name Kinderdijk is Dutch for children dyke. During the St. Elizabeth flood of 1421, the Grote Hollandse Vaard flooded, but the Albasser Vaard polar stayed unflooded. It is often said that when the horrendous storm had subsided, a villager went to the dike between these two areas to inspect what could be salvaged. In the distance, he saw a wooden cradle floating on the water. 
As they came nearer, some movement was noted, and upon closer investigation, a cat was found, trying to keep it in balance by leaping back and forth in such a manner that water couldn't flood the cradle. As the cradle eventually came close enough to the dike for a bystander to pick up the cradle, he saw that a baby was quietly sleeping inside it, nice and dry. The cat had kept the cradle balanced and afloat. This folktale and legend has been published as The Cat and the Cradle in English. Don't you find a similarity between this story and the story of Karna from Habarta? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. After a tour with the boat, we visit the museum mills. I was surprised to see that the windmill had three floors, a living room, and completely functional sleeping quarters. Luckily, the wind started blowing, so I can show you the workings of the windmill. You actually live here. How how do you arrange food and everything? Well, my wife is doing this. Okay. I take the food and the drink. <laughs> okay. And. We found out that this miller lives next door. We stood there for some time, admiring the majestic mill. Do you know that the Netherlands is 6 meters below sea level? The Dutch are known for their effective water management since ages. Today we learned how an effective water management could result in fertile and safe land.
When the weather is good, the stunning outdoor terrace above the water offers an excellent place to take a break. Here you have the most beautiful view of the area and perhaps even the Netherlands. We finish our day by buying some souvenirs and head back. If you are enjoying our videos, click the like button and the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.